Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and the layout. I'm back with a few updates on the layout that I've been doing over the last three weeks and a few items I got from the Kitchener train show uh, two weekends back. So when we get back with this video, I'll show you what I've been up to and what I got. So two weeks ago I went to the local Kitchener uh, train show, bought a bunch of uh, Tyco locomotives and train cars for my two uh, younger boys to uh, play with and enjoy the hobby and I got myself two cars for $30 Canadian it was a great deal the first one I got was this Atlas train man CP rail 34 65 76 thrill gondola a lot of great detail on it battle lich walkway uh, you have uh, brake cut levers and uh, brake hoses. Great detail, I'll show it more off maybe in a future video. And then I got a Athern ready to roll four bay ACF center flow hopper in the Western Pacific scheme. I always like the Western Pacific uh, logos and I wanted to uh, get one of their uh, rolling stocks for the longest time so I got uh, 1177.4. So that's what I got from the train show, and when we come back with this video, I'll show you what I've been uh, working on on the layout. So on the layout front, as you can see guys, track work has uh, commenced quite greatly. Uh, everything is laid but a few sections, so I got my main line, most of my main line, sorry, uh, placed the last couple pieces I did uh, this evening. I still have to glue this uh, turnout down and the foot of track leaving, sorry, leading to the staging section that I'm going to be adding in the future. It's going to be about one foot here. Sorry about the water tower, guys. And all I have left to do is put in this uh, industry spur right here. That's all the track I have left and then I'm going to have to buy two or three more pieces of flex track to do uh, this line going out here and then the uh, subdivision going out here for other local industries so that's all I have to lay so as you can see coming along nicely I still have to drop feeders for these two pieces of track here that I just laid everything else has feeders running to it and when I come back I'll show you what I've been doing on the uh, wiring front so in terms of wiring on the layout, I've uh, started wiring up my uh, tortoise machines. I went with a thicker piano wire. I believe this is uh, 0.54. The standard piano wire you get with these switch machines just isn't uh, strong enough to uh, hold things through thicker foam, plywood, and cork. So I just went with a stiffer wire. I bought a bundle of four of these at a local hobby shop for about four dollars I believe, so a buck a piece. What I'm doing to wire the uh, tortoises, they have eight leads. What I How I wired it, I uh, hot glue gunned a uh, barrier strip on the bottom for easy connect. And what I did to wire is negative positive, sorry, positive negative to this tortoise machine positive negative from the track and then your um, frog juicer so that's how all my uh, tortoises are going to be wired as you can see I installed two so far so that's for the first two industry switches up front so they're just uh, mounted to the layout I still have to wire the actual turnouts to choose the frog and then wire the power supply to the tortoises and then do all my control panel wiring. Another major change that I did to the layout is I decided to change the way I was going to put the feeders to the main bus lines. In the past videos, as uh, you remembered, I basically used the barrier strips. I decided it wasn't giving me strong enough connections. I went old school and I directly um, soldering the um, feeders to the bus lines. They're covered with electrical tape here, but as you can see, sorry about the glare, 
I have them uh, soldered here directly to the feeders. This will give me better electrical flow and keep my wires a little bit tidy. I have a few more changes coming up. I have to move some of my uh, bus wires, sorry for the camera work guys, to fit in all my tortoises. So that's going to be coming in an up and future video. So that's what I've been doing on the layout and that's the couple of uh, new stuff I got were those two uh, pieces of rolling stock you see here. A lot more to come in the next couple weeks I'm hoping to have all my main installed and this final spur other than the last two tracks which I'm going to do in the future but after I lay the existing track that I have and until I ran out of my flex track I'll be doing track work and after that I'm going to be focusing on installing all my tortoise machines. I have six more to wire and seven more to install to the layout and then I'm going to focus on doing my control panel. So I don't know if I'm going to do a control panel for the switches in one shot or if I'm going to be doing them um, sectionally lined up with each turnout. So I would have one little LED indicated control panel here, one here for these switches, and then a bigger one for uh, the group of switches here. Or I might have them all together. So if you guys actually have any suggestions, if I should do them all in one control panel or if I should break them up into the three like I'm thinking, uh, your suggestions and comments will be greatly appreciated on that. So with that guys, uh, this is the end of this video. As always, if you like what you see, please subscribe and like if you haven't already. And please comment and share as always. So I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.